So how do you make your first $1,000, you know, as a freelancer, as a consultant? And really, again, let's kind of take a step back and look at what you actually get paid for as a freelancer, as a consultant, do you know what I mean? You get paid to solve problems for people, right? So you're gonna be out there in the marketplace solving a problem for somebody and then basically be getting paid money in exchange for solving that problem and really creating value in the marketplace. So in terms of making your first $1,000, that can be maybe made up of solving smaller problems, maybe $100 and solving 10 of those problems, or it may be made up from solving a big problem and charging $1,000 for that. So whatever it is that you're consulting in, the first place that you wanna start is, you know, if you're looking to make your first $1,000, we're at ground zero right now, do you know what I mean? You probably have limited money in the bank account to really throw out this thing to start getting clients. So therefore, you're gonna be using your time and your energy and manual work to start to go to where it is that your potential clients are that are gonna be paying you this $1,000. And you know, think about where are they? Where are your clients? Are they on Google? Are they on Facebook? Are they on job forums? Are they on Facebook groups? And realistically, if you're starting from scratch, then you're gonna be looking at things like Reddit threads. You're gonna be looking at things like Facebook groups where you know they're all congregating, those kind of clients that are experiencing these problems and really kind of looking for answers to those problems. And then you're gonna to start to step in and you're gonna to start to answer those questions for free. Now, at this stage, you might be thinking, Yes, Sabri, well, how do I make that first elusive $1,000, right? As a consultant or as a freelancer. And the reality of it is that you need to provide value upfront first in order to kind of open up that dialogue where you can kind of start to charge people. Because the reality is, if we're looking at something like Facebook groups, there might be 30,000 people in that Facebook group. And as soon as someone raises their hand and asks for help, there might be, five, 10, 20, 30, 40 people all jumping in to, to really start to kind of get that person's business. I can help you PM me, or I charge $500 or $200, or I can help you solve that problem and it's gonna cost you $1,000. Now, that's the rookie way to go about it, right? Because we're living in a day and age where skepticism is rampant, okay? And it is rampant online, especially in Facebook groups. However, the people are still looking for problems, right? But they're very jaded, right? They've been told it, maybe they've hired somebody else and they didn't get the outcome that they wanted to. So we are kind of getting pulled at the heels by this kind of skepticism that is just rampant throughout the industry and it's rampant throughout society. So to quiet this skepticism, we just wanna be cool and we just wanna provide value to people and so help them kind of solve a portion of that problem without ever asking for anything in return. And what happens once you do that, once you engage in that type of communication is people think like, holy shit, if this dude is willing or this girl is willing to just help me without even asking for anything, what would happen if I paid them? Do you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that just go out there and start solving everybody's problems for free, right? I'm talking about providing some really good targeted advice and maybe taking some initiative and start to even do some of that work for free and say, hey, I did this mock-up for you. Hey, I shot this video for you. Hey, I looked at your website or your ads or your landing pages and this is some stuff that I suggest that you do. Um, I'm more than happy to jump on a call with you and discuss what that might look like. Boom. Immediately, you've just started a conversation. You've provided some value in advance. As a result of doing that, their skepticism has gone down and they can see that you actually know your shit because you've actually just provided some value without ever asking for anything. Then what you wanna do is you wanna be doing that multiple times per day in the beginning to get to that first $1,000. You wanna to try to be having as many conversations as you can with helping people solve their problems Problem. And you know, again, you want to be looking at, okay, let me look at this problem that they're trying to solve. You know, what is that worth to solve that problem for them? And then just charging 10% 
of what it's worth to solve that problem for them. And you know, it might be $200, it might be $1,000, it might be $5,000. You know, you're not gonna know until you start to have those conversations. And if you do that, you know, with enough frequency before you know it, you'll already have a few clients and you would have reached your first $1,000 as a freelancer or as a consultant. So really there you have it guys. That's kind of how you make your first $1,000. It's about simply getting out there, putting that activity in, engaging those conversations, providing value, and before you know it, a percentage of those conversations will turn into paying clients. The founder mission is to help you create an ass-kicking business and help you learn straight from the mouths of world-class founders. Get your free printed edition of Founder Magazine featuring Sir Richard Branson. Just cover shipping and handling at founder.com forward slash Branson.